Okay, Yard Fanatics, welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central. You are chilling with the Big Yard Dog himself, BYD. And guys, for those you hadn't subscribed, make sure you click that subscription button with all the notifications. Every time I upload a video, you'll be notified by YouTube. Hey, let's jump right into it. A lot of guys are hitting me up saying, BYD, I have a bunch of weeds in my lawn. What has happened to my lawn? Here's what happened. We had a warm winter, all right? During that warm winter, Mother Nature got tricked. So the weed seeds that you had in your lawn decide to hatch or germinate ahead of time. Now, if you did put down a pre-emergent, pre-emergent does not guarantee that you will not get weeds, all right? But here's what happened. If you miss your window, once the seed starts germinating, it's, it's pretty much, it's not gonna help. When you see that stuff come out the ground, it's not gonna help, especially that point, all right? For those who did apply it on time and you still got it, you may not have gotten as many weeds as you would have gotten if you didn't apply. And I know that for a fact because I put down a .83 pro diamine on my backyard and my pore um, infestation is way less than what it was last season. And I got a video for that. All these videos will be linked at the end of this video. But this video is to primarily show you how to get rid of those weeds using a granular approach along with a chemical called image image herbicide which is the red label image and that one is for summer and winter weeds but it's more selective we are aiming for that poor um what else germinates during this time uh, wild um, garlic wild onion um bittercress i get a lot of that also and the, these planting weeds um, broadleaf weeds and simple stuff like that now the preen is what i'm going to actually use preen granule the preen granule kills over 200 weeds um, but i will tell you this with these with these chemicals don't kill they will not kill dallas grass they will not kill crab grass and one other thing they won't kill and the, the preen itself will not kill annual bluegrass the image Will and the image that we're using, guys, bear in mind this, this channel is for the average homeowner. So these are products that will be available at your store. And I'll have links in the description at the end of this video. You can go check that out. But the image will help kill off the poor. Now, one thing you need to know, it's gonna take anywhere from three to five weeks for it to kill that poor off. Pre normally takes about four weeks also, the granular formula. And it's best to attack these weeds while your lawn is dormant. Um, therefore, when the green up comes, you, you should be more weed free. For those of you who are saying, oh, you just let the, the pole kill itself off because it's gonna die naturally. You're absolutely wrong. Go ahead and kill it off now. Do not let pole infest your yard because once those white seeds start dropping off, you're gonna have the same issue again, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys. Now here are some of the items that you'll need to go ahead and get this started. All right, first you see a pair of gloves down there, safety glasses. Uh, we also got the safety boots if you need them. Um, I don't need them necessarily because I have work boots. We have the preen. Um, we also have, let me zoom in on this if I can real quick. That is the image red label. All right, that's for the winter weeds and summer weeds. You're gonna need a blower to blow that stuff back off the concrete and we got the spreader down there. And the last thing you're gonna need is a knife to cut the bag open, all right? Okay, Yard Finax, look, before I get started, look, you're gonna need the image, all right? Image can be bought, like I said, to local Home Depot Lowe's. If you're an Amazon shop, I'll leave the links in the description, but whatever you do, make sure you get the red label. There's one that's a yellow label, one that's a uh, red label. The red label specifically says kill summer and winter weeds, all right? And you can see nut sedge, of course, dollar weed, and that's the booger right there, that annual bluegrass, poor annual. And you got wild onion, wild garlic, and it kills a few more, but it's more selective, all right? This is not going to kill 50,000 weeds or nothing like that. Remember, this is a homeowner's um, um, product. It's not as super strong, so here's the deal. It's going to take anywhere from three to five weeks for this stuff to have a total kill. Now, if your yard is totally infested, you may need a second application. Normally, this stuff says you only can apply it two times a year know your square feet now let me let me let me explain this real quick this is how they get over 
the handheld spray bottle covers 8,000 square feet. All right, you get 32 ounces. The price of it, normally is $19.99. If you buy this one right here in the concentrate bottle, it only covers 6,000 square feet. You only get 24 fluid ounces. Here's the deal. Both of these are the exact same chemical. The only difference is you're using that and you're, you're feeding water into it so it's, it's diluting it at the right amount. This right here, normally you can use it to spot treat or you can use this to fill that. But if you're in the store, don't buy this. Buy this. 32 ounces, 8,000 square feet, 19.99. 24 ounces, 6,000 square feet, 19.99. You know I'm all about saving that dollar too, so save yourself a few pennies to get this. You can always screw the top off of it, pour 2.5 ounces into one gallon of water and spot treat weeds if you need to individually do that, all right? Next thing we got is the preen granule right here and it kills up to 200 weeds, kills to the root, apply when weeds are actively growing. Now here's, here's what's going on guys. It's actually winter time. This product says and let me show you. Product says to apply in the spring and in the fall. All right, we are in the winter, headed towards spring, but spring is actually another what month and a half off. With these warm temperatures, and and, and if you read carefully, it says kills to the root, but it says apply when weeds are growing. The weeds are growing right now, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this. Here's the thing, you only can apply it twice a year. You can apply it once now. You can come back at 30 days later and apply it again. It's gonna be applied at two pounds per 1,000 square feet, which will give you the 10,000 square feet that this bag covers. And it has a list of weeds down here. And like I said, I know I got bitter crest and it may, you may see it lists um, winter, no, there it is right there, bitter crest. You see it right there? Hairy, bitter crest, uh, bitter weed. Or you may even see it listed winter binnacle, bitter crisp. All right, but this product does not kill poor. That's why we're using this as a selective herbicide to, to target that poor. This right here should take care of all the other weeds you got like plantain, um, if you got nut sedge, uh, which really you shouldn't have that right now in the winter. What you should have is poor, maybe some bitter crisp, plantain, you'll start to see that come around. Um, and I, that, this also kills, what's that booger in the summertime? Let me think of it. Okay, in the springtime, this is also going to help kill spurge, guys. I know you, you know about that spurge. That stuff will grow down in, in, in the grass, and it's hard to see. Then it'll start vein, vining out, and you'll see it. But it also kills uh, spurge. We're going to apply it. Now, if you have a drop spreader, granular works best in a, gran in a drop spreader in my opinion. The reason, because you can target those areas directly versus a broadcast where it's throwing it out. It doesn't land directly straight down on the weed and you get more on that weed than you would get with a broadcast. Now, the key to it is, the reason we're gonna go ahead and spray it with that, your yard has to be moist when you apply the granular kill. This is not a weed and feed. This is specifically a herbicide to kill weeds. You're not feeding your lawn with this. Okay, same thing with this. This is not a weed and feed. I know some of you guys are scratching your head, but I have to say it because I read the reviews on some of these products and people were saying, oh, it didn't work as a weed and feed and this and that. It's not a weed and feed. One of the reasons why I specifically say you gotta read the bag from top to bottom, all right? Now, even when you look at this right here, your assumption would be you can apply it that way or that way. But if you read carefully in here, that figure A right there is when you're using a drop spreader. That's what they want you to do if you use a figure A. Figure B, you see it? is the broadcast. So they want you to work a circular motion towards the middle. Very important that you read this instruction, guys. Now, we have two spreaders on deck right here. We have the Scott's Edge Guard, which they're saying set that at four and a half. Here's my 
Scott's edge guard. And I'm not going to use the edge guard. Edge guard will be off because I feel you'll get more of a broadcast when you use it without the edge guard. I've been using it a while, so I know how not to put it in the flower beds. But I have it set on four and a half. Okay, you are finesse. Now, I also have the, uh, the Let's Go Rotary. And it should be on here. All right, Let's Go Rotary right there. And it says G15. Now, I actually called the 1-800 number right here. Where is it? I, I'll, I'll list it right there. It should be at the bottom of the screen. 1-800-233-1067 between the hours of 8 a.m., 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. So Saturday and Sunday, you won't be able to get through. All right, and that should be Espanol down at the bottom just in case for my Spanish-speaking viewers. All right, you can call that number if you don't see your spreader on this bag or on this chart. They can actually tell you what setting to put it on. So let's go to the Let's Go spreader. I'm gonna use both of these spreaders, so let's go to guys. That's, that's the Let's Go spreader, and I'm using both of them because I have a couple of followers that actually got it. Only downfall I hate with these Let's Go spreaders, you can't really see those numbers, but it's telling me to set it on 15. So this, let's test it. Let's see. That, you, know, you see that little arrow tilt right there. It's on 16 now. Let's put it on 15. 15. Yep, it's on 15. So I twist it to lock it. So I'm gonna use both of these. I'm gonna use that one. Some of the yards, this one on the other part. Okay, yard for next. I'm gonna go ahead and take the, uh, Scott's um, with the edge guard out for a spin. All right. Remember, I have the edge guard off. Here we go. Okay, y'all finesse look we went ahead and applied that and this is how it should look when you get through all right you see how those granulars are sitting on top of those broadleaf weeds all right by it being wet it acted as somewhat as a surfactant and it'll feed through the leaves work its way down into the roots once it's watered in in a couple of days 24 to 48 hours if you got a lot of weeds i'll wait 48 hours and it's going to take about four weeks for you to get a total kill. 80% of it should be gone by then. Even right down on the bitter crest, if you look, you see some of those granules landing on there. All right, let's see if we got it. Right down on that plantain, you see it? So even overnight, you're going to get some morning dew. That's going to help liquefy the top of those granules down into those plant leaves. Look at bitter crest. We got some all over that. And you get the general idea, guys. There it is right there. So if you put this down and it doesn't look like that, either you didn't apply it at the right rate or you, you'll you try to apply it to a dry lawn because you figure you can make it work. It doesn't work like that. Same way here. You see it sitting on top of those. Same way there. Got some right there. 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 and it's pretty much everywhere all right then we made sure that we went back and we took the blower and we blew the sidewalks and blew that stuff back over into the lawn don't let it go down the drain and let's check out the pour right here on the, the edges where we got that pour we sprayed the image that'll start knocking that out in about three to five weeks and for you guys who are following me you know all that green stuff is annual ryegrass that's not poor. It's just one of those things where I planted it a season and a half ago, and it all of a sudden, this is the year that where it didn't take that season, it's coming out this season. That's annual, it'll die. And okay, after about three to four weeks, this is what you should be looking like. Okay, you are fanatics, and you see, this is about, like I said, I did this 
about two and a half weeks ago so I can actually show you how it will look when it start dying. You see it yellowing right there. Let me see if I can find some other spots. Right there, it's yellowing. Okay, if you look hard, you can see that big plantain type weed is yellowing. All the rest of them are yellowing too, guys. So that includes the bitter crisp. And a slow kill is better than no kill. And some people prefer doing the, the granular because the granular, some say it's not as, it doesn't hurt the grass as much, all right? But we're dealing with Bermuda grass, it's dormant, so I'm not worried about hurting the grass. I, I'm more or less worried about hurting the roots, but granular is, is, is a slow kill, so you don't really have to worry about that, but you gotta attack this weeks before we get that green up. You don't want weeds in your lawn. You're gonna have a few, but you don't want a yard full of weeds in the springtime, and now you're, you're trying to attack it. That's the worst thing you can do. Now, here's a couple of tips. I did put down a pre-emergent video. It's non-sponsored, but I used the Sunnyland um, 007 that contains that, that thigh up here. And the reason I use that is because it's supposed to last anywhere from three to five months. If we have early crabgrass germination, that that thigh up here will act as a somewhat of a weed kill and get that poor, not poor, excuse me, get that um, crabgrass while it's young, all right? Now, once it gets to the third, fourth, fifth stage, then the story. If you saw my Instagram video and Walter Weed Reeds basically said, if you apply a pre-emergent in January, Generally, you have to come back 60 to 90 days and reapply another pre-emergent, all right? So we're gonna do that with the granular. Now, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that with that prodiamine um, on my backyard because I actually went max. I went a .83, and I will say it did a pretty good job. Very minimum pour showing up um, versus what it was last year. Uh, I'm just trying to throw some other tips at you. Guys, if you use that preen, <sighs> Please read these bags, guys, because it says on that warm season grasses that it works on. And I think it said uh, Bermuda grass, I want to say centipede, zoysia, um, did not say St. Augustine. Um, and then cool season, I think it said Kentucky blue fescue, some other grasses, fescue. And I, I'm not a cool season guy, so read the bag, okay? Read the bag, because even with the image image specifically says do not apply image herbicide to saint augustine to kill winter weeds that's what it says now at the same time they do have a image with atrazine in it that's made for saint augustine and centipede lawns if i'm not mistaken there should be a picture somewhere up there so you got to read these labels guys you can't just go on with here on internet or youtube or you, you just spraying away. If you don't read the bag, you're not gonna learn that. I love doing the videos because it's instructional. Give you guys an idea on how to put this stuff down. Read those directions, all right? Okay, guys, once again, you're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.